We have a huge mail day and I can't even fit all of this stuff on the desk. So let's get into it. Also, there's going to be a huge giveaway announcement later in the video. So stay tuned because you're watching Cream. All right, guys, just like usual, we're going to start off slow with some like loose packs and work our way up to the sealed stuff. But the loose packs are pretty cracked because we have four first edition, the Lost Millennium. Beautiful. I'm just going to put these down. Look at Look at just look at these. And their hobby packs code 076 is the hobby code retail is 82 i believe but i know that this is uh hobby because we did pull a uh what is it what was a wing karibo ultimate rare last time we opened some of these it was a crazy crazy video i had six packs and like yeah i just gotta try what loose packs man so we got first edition lost millennium hobby pack so yeah, Wing Karibo, Ancient Gear Golem, Fling Wingman. This is the first Zexo set to come out, so beautiful. And these are going for around, I would say loose, like 40 to 50 bucks each, like when you, when it comes to loose, of course. So like, you know, it's like $200 right here, which is actually crazy. But what's even more crazy <laughs> is I have six first edition Elemental Energy. Just look at that. Just look at these, man. Look at these, beautiful. And these are also hobby, guys. These are also hobby. Three, seven, six. I'm pretty sure one. I think eight two, <laughs> also or eight zero. One of those are eight one even. Will be is the uh, retail. But yeah, these are definitely hobby. So you guys know we can get a shining phoenix or no shining flare wingman, which is beautiful. And I think they have what tempest is also in here. Oh snap! This might be crazy. So. You guys know I love buying loose packs, so they could be scale weight, whatever, but I try, I try. I've done okay so far, but yeah. First edition Elements of Energy. It's been a while since I opened some Elements of Energy, and I don't think I've ever opened up Hobby First Edition on the channel, so that's gonna be insane. All right, next, this is huge, like, this is crazy. I have like, what is it? I think it's 15. 15 First Edition Photon Shockwave. Like, these are like extinct, like, you might be able to find some over in Canada, which is actually where I got these from. Got a guy on um, Instagram. This is insane. Like I never thought I'd be able to own this many, and they're like such good condition too. Like you know, there's a little bit of bending at the top, but usually like when you're shipping or like, even when you're not, it's hard to keep the top bend because these are like super long. But this is just crazy. These are, like really really good condition, and I like the older ones. They used to have like this back, like different backs. Like a lot, you know, the newer ones they just have the same back because they just you know print the same thing every time but like a lot of the older blisters had different explanations different backs different stuff like, you know they showed like what cards you can pull and why they have them in the set so it's so cool to see these man and yeah these are definitely staying in my collection i'm not gonna open these for a while like it's really tempting but i can't like look at this though these are like 20 25 a, a, a pack or a sealed blister could even be more like like i said these are really hard to find but i got them for a good price and they're just gonna stay in my collection like, yeah, that, that's just crazy. We do have an update to my uh, blister wall. I got a first edition Legend Dose Magical Hero. Like this jumped up to like $30 of blister, especially when you couldn't find them in stores. So it was really hard to get one for a good price. Finally did, because now they're trying to die down. A bunch of the stuff got reprint. So it's, yeah, a bunch of the, you know, Dark Magician stuff. Everyone loves Dark Magician. So everybody just like buying this set out. So I like that I finally got one. Even the booster box were like two fifty a box, man. Like it was insane. But first edition one, like I'm trying to make sure I do get all the legendary duelists, steel blisters. Um, I think some of the older ones are one of the more expensive ones, like one of the ones with Pegasus, Bakura. I think some of those might be a little more expensive, but I think I'm getting pretty close to like completing them. So that's really cool. All right, now we have this box, and this box has some cool stuff in. I got this for an insanely fair price, I would say. This is, I wish it was a full special edition, uh, like a full display, but it was only seven, but it is Cosmo Blazer special editions. Like I haven't opened these in like forever, man. Like it's crazy. So I did not get a full display, but I did get seven of them. And I got it for a pretty good price. Like I, I, I can't lie, especially with Cosmo Blazer. Like, Oh, that set's crazy. It's like, what, 300 for a sealed box, maybe? Maybe, yeah. It's hard, like, I think you might be able to find one for 200, 250, but it's so hard to get Cosmo Blazer. So even special editions, like screw first edition, it's hard to get <laughs> special editions. But you're gonna see some more Cosmo Blazer later in the video. 
Beautiful, man. Seven of these. So you can get that number 92 heart earth dragon and a bunch of other stuff that Cosmo Blizzard has. Like, it's really, really good and powerful set. So, yeah, that's, this is insane. I don't know if I uh, showed this before. I know I did on Instagram, but this is a number 17 Leviathan Dragon 10 sealed. I don't know why it took me so long to get this, but now I almost have a complete sealed collection of Generation 4. It's the first Zexel set to come out. You know I collect Zexel. It's my favorite era of Yu-Gi-Oh! And this was one of the things I was definitely missing. Like, this isn't technically like Generation 4, like the set because this was the first set that came out so when they did the 10 they actually put the previous sets that are all five d's packs on the inside so they have storm riding rock extreme victory those are the last two sets to come out and a hidden arsenal 4 i don't know when that came out obviously it's a 5d set though like a side set but yeah it's really cool it just has the cover but this was like you know the introduction of zexel so they did the cover for generation force number 17. beautiful though like this is like super sealed no rips like this was like really really good condition so i'm so glad i have this to just showcase with the rest of my stuff just beautiful real quick guys we have a giveaway i'm going to give away this beautiful ultimate rare princess bikiru from shadows of infinity unlimited if you want to enter just like the video be a subscriber of the channel ring that bell so you know when i post videos there's going to be a floating blister sometime during the video post it in the comment section down below all right let's get back to the video now we're going to get into the spice and like this this is like going to be like super crazy we got a couple of booster boxes you know that i collect zexel and i try and get both north american and european and these are european european lord of the tachyon galaxy absolutely beautiful man just look at that and yes i have two of them two like completely sealed and it's crazy <laughs> absolutely mad that i got these for like a really good price too and i'm trying to get enough copies because i'm going to start my like master sets for these so like it's so cool that i was able to get some so i have like I have like five boxes of Lord of the Tachyon. I'm definitely going to get more, of course, but this is just crazy. So I have these. So we also have, and this one's just weird. I have a Cosmo Blazer box that I got, and this one is also European. You see, made in Belgium. But the difference is it's not the same thickness. This one is actually like North American like style in terms of thickness. So I really want to open this one just to see why it's like that. I don't know why, like the packs should be thicker. So maybe they're not some, what if like they're North American packs inside or something and there's like a error packaging somehow. I don't know if like the box, they got a different type of box or something. I don't know, it's weird. This one's really interesting. So let me know what you guys think about that one. This one's really cool that it's not the same thickness as the usual North, uh, European ones. It's so weird, so weird, but I'm not done yet. We also have judgment of the light my favorite set man it is like i did not expect to find a european box of judgment of light and that's so crazy this is going with my collection with the rest of my judgment light stuff and i've completed my judgment of the light sealed set so i have everything even like the play mat like right in front of you let's freaking go it is so cool and we still got one more oh man shadow specters <laughs> crazy like this is literally insane united kingdom made in belgium so we have got like three extra european boxes man like, this is so insane to me i never thought i'd be able to find these because like a lot of these are scarce could not find them on ebay like ever and I, I literally spent years looking for them the only one i know where it is is photon shockwave i know where that euro box is it's just a lot so i have to save up for it unless i find a cheaper one but other than that yeah i think Galactic Overlord, I know it is too. Order of Chaos, I know it is too. They're just a lot. Like Euro boxes are, have a higher premium because they're much harder to find. Might not be over in Europe, but from my perspective, you really can't find them. It's just crazy. And that's going to be all, guys. Let me know what you think of this huge collection. Like, it is. It is so crazy. It's insane. I'm not done yet. So I'm going to be getting a bunch more stuff. Some of the stuff's going to be open. Some of the stuff I might be able to sell if you want to see it open on the channel. But yeah, it's going to be insane. But I'll see you next time on the next video. This is Creed. I'm out.